before you claim that the grace of God has saved you and given you a ticket to heaven, I want you to analyze what the grace of God continues to do in your life. Because God's grace is not static. It's not a one-time thing. And I want to read from the Word of God, Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 13. I want you to listen carefully. The Bible says there that the grace of God has appeared, and it's bringing salvation to all people, whoever will trust in Jesus Christ. But here are the things that the Word of God says the grace of God will do actively in your life. It is training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions. It is grace not only forgives our sins, it's not just some light and airy word, but grace is a very strong and powerful thing. The grace of God enables you to put away ungodliness, to quit pursuing worldly passions. The Bible goes on to say, grace enables us to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives. We can reflect who Jesus Christ is. We can do it by the power of his grace. And so before I finish this, I want to ask you, if you're not doing those things, if the grace of God is not active in your life, then perhaps you've not really understood what his grace is. Perhaps you are not truly saved and you need to get somewhere alone with God and figure that out. But here's the big one. Here is the other thing that the Bible tells us the grace of God does. It enables us to live these godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. If anyone ever asks me, Shelly, why are you so excited about seeing Jesus? Why do you long for him to return? It's because that's the outcome of the grace of God. The grace of God not only forgives your sins, it gives you the power to pursue the Lord. It, it brings the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ into your life and causes you to fall so in love with him and to become so tight with him that you can't wait to finally and ultimately be with him. So if the grace of God is truly in your life, the ultimate outcome will be you can't wait for Jesus to return.